All right. Um, so in this example, though, if we're going to follow, now the one difference here, notice how we had two terms over here, three terms, and four terms. So the important thing uh, to remember is when, like, for each term, they're all going to have a certain factoring technique or factoring, um, you know, certain technique. So when we have four terms, we want to look into factoring by grouping. So what that means, Jacques, is you're going to take, first thing first is we're going to set it equal to zero, just like we did before. We want to get this to factored form. But we can't use the same technique we did for trinomials because it's not a trinomial, right? It's a polynomial with four terms. So what we can do is group the first two terms, group the second two terms. Then from those grouping, we're going to factor out the GCF, or the greatest common factor. So if I say, what do, what do these two have in here? You could say an x squared. Now, when doing, fact, when doing factoring by grouping, what we want to do is inside the parentheses, what's well, left over, we want to be the same. So over here, I have a negative x minus 3. I want that to be a positive x plus 3, yes? Okay. So you'd want to factor out a negative 1. Okay. Now we have <coughs> two expressions, and we want to see what they have in common. I used color code to make it very obvious, because you can see that they, these two expressions have what in common? x plus 3. It's an expression. It's not a, a term anymore. It's, you know, it's an actual expression. But now we can factor that out, and we're left with an x squared minus 1. So then again, though, we need to factor this down, right? So we'd get 0 equals x plus 3 times x minus 1 times x plus 1. Therefore, now we can see that the solution set is negative 3, positive 1, and negative 1. Notice that the multiplicity is odd for all of those. So they all have an odd multiplicity. And remember, odd multiplicity will say that the graph will cross at each one of those. right? So by putting it into this factored form, though, if you guys see this, by putting it into this factored form, wouldn't you guys agree, you guys could graph this equation. If I said, hey, graph this, you guys could easily factor it and then use the m behavior and the zeros and multiplicity to graph, right? Kind of, all right, good. So I just want to make sure I know what types of problems I can give you guys. <laughs>